another unboxing today. Um, it's a product from AO and I'm really excited. I just love doing unboxing videos and it's interesting to see what's inside and it gives you a sense of like what to expect if you order this product. It is a Morphe Richards Accent Microwave. It's in a pretty sturdy box. Um, with really nice handles on the side so you know that um, when it's being delivered it's not going to get damaged and it's going to be handled properly. So the first thing in the box is the plate. Um, <laughs> yep, that's the first thing to come out. It's quite good that it's kept separately so it won't get damaged. And they're all apart. when I was um, just taking that out um, but it's so solid it's on it's covered in a nice little film as well so it won't get damaged it's really sturdy it's a really nice colour we, we've got quite a lot of cream and um, blue in our kitchen so I think if you've got kind of a cream a creamy um, style to your kitchen we've got a cream fridge and things like that cream kettle um, I think it's perfect for tying in with that I just think it's quite quite retro looking You've got a digital display, which I haven't had before in a microwave. So you need to find a level surface to put it on. And you need 20 centimetres required between the oven and any adjacent walls. Um, and 30 centimetres above it. The first thing to do would be to pop your... Would be to open it up. And pop your plates and things in. So I'm just doing that now. Oh, I love the smell of clean, clean new products. Okay, I'm going to show you how to operate the microwave. To use your microwave oven, you need to select the power. So you can choose between 100, 80, 50, 30, or 10. Then you confirm it by pressing this button here. Then you select your time, anything up to 95 minutes. So I'm going to do it for a few seconds so we can see what happens when it finishes cooking. Then you press that and it starts cooking. Same usual noise as any other microwave, nothing, nothing different there. So it beats five times when it's cooked. It's quick cooking. You just press that button and it will cook for 30 seconds. So that would be really useful if you've cooked something and it's just not as hot as you would like. Give it a quick stir and then just whack, press that button. At the time on your microwave, um, you press the clock button there and the hour will flash so you turn it to adjust the time and it is now 12 and i'm guessing you press that and it'll do the minutes 12 35 and you press that and the time is set which is really useful so then you can do preset cooking, which I think is pretty amazing and would possibly save me a lot of time. So the clock is set. You want to do some preset cooking. So if you want to cook at 2.30 with 80% of the microwave power for 10 minutes. So you press the power button once, then turn the auto dial to choose 80%. Press confirm. <laughs> Then turn the auto dial to adjust the cooking time to seven minutes. I'll do one minute. I'll do, no, I'll do a few seconds just so we can see if it works. So 15 seconds. After steps one to three, do not press the confirm button. So if we were going to cook it straight away, we'd press this button here and it would cook for 15 seconds. But because we want it to cook, say, at 12.40, um, we're going to go to the clock and we're going to press the clock. 
You can change that if you want, you could go to 13, I'm going to leave it at 12. Adjust the hours and then press the clock button again and then adjust the minutes. I am going to go forward two minutes and then press that. My preset should have worked. It hasn't worked. Um, I couldn't get to work the first couple of times, so I don't know, follow the instructions to the T, I guess, is the point. Yay! <laughs> it's way too excited then. <laughs> I'm thinking, if you're like rushing around like mad, um, or you know someone's going to be home soon, or even if you go out for the day and you think, I'm going to be home for six o'clock, you can put your food in here and you can set it to start cooking at five to six or however long you would need and then when you walk through the door you can just dump your stuff down get your food out of the microwave and eat it or if you want to go and have a shower maybe you could set it for them i think it's i think it might be useful i think it's going to be useful having a, a timer set setting Okay, you can also defrost, so I'm just going to cancel that off. Defrost is over here. Um, you defrost and then you do the, you press defrost and then you use this to do the weight in grams. So say that's 900 grams and I want to defrost it. And it then sets the time needed for that piece of food to defrost. Fantastic. Because I can't be doing with figuring out that, you know. Defrost 2 is defrost by time instead of weight. So defrost 2 is I'm going to choose a time. And that'll defrost it. Okay, so that's good, isn't it? You can do multi-stages of cooking. So you can cook to defrost for 5 minutes. And then you can cook it normally for seven minutes so we will try that defrost twice actually defrost defrost twice and then i'm going to turn it to five seconds then you press the power button and then 80 i'm going to go for 80 percent of the another five seconds and it should do two sets of five seconds now yes it's defrosted for five seconds and it's cooking for five seconds fantastic there's some auto functions for reheat vegetable fish meat pasta potato pizza and soup there's also a child safety lock fun function so to lock your microwave, press and hold the stop button for ten, for three seconds, sorry. It's locked. So you can't do anything. Completely locked, which is great, isn't it? And then to undo that. Voila! A little um, full on guided tour of the microwave now. Um, and then I will warm up my lunch in it to show you how it works.
gonna test it out. Um, so I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna pop my lunch in there. I'm gonna go for power 80. Um, for two minutes and see what happens. I can smell it, it smells really good. A moment of truth. Right. I like to leave my cling film on so it doesn't splat the uh, sides. I'm going to check it. Right. I'm going to put it in front of the minute because it's not quite as hot as I would like. So I'm going to test out the 30 second extra actually. I reckon it could go for another 30 seconds. Okay, so here is my curry. You can see the steam pouring off it. I think it took maybe four or five minutes to cook. Um, to get it as hot as I like, I really like my food hot. Um, so I'm gonna try it now because sometimes you get little cold patches, don't you? So I'm testing, testing it out, I'm gonna be honest. No cold patches, absolutely delicious, piping hot, all good. I think this is a great little microwave. It offers a lot of diverse ways of using it. So if you are um, if you have a family, it's really useful. If you're single, it's really useful. If you're in a couple, it's really useful. If you're, whatever your lifestyle, whether you're busy, you can set it so that when you walk to the door from the office, your dinner's ready. I love that you can preset to cook your food. I love that you can just quickly press 30 seconds because I'm a, I will use that a lot, that function a lot because sometimes it just isn't cooked just enough. Um, I like that you can do things by weight and defrost things. I have a lot of soups that I just leave in the freezer because I forget to get them out the night before so I can whack them in here now and defrost them. It's a bit of a keeper really. It's just very, very useful. I think it's great. Um, so yeah, big thumbs up from me. Bye.